to the doll studio. So as you guys know, I am constantly, constantly, constantly getting dolls back from the American Girl Doll Hospital. However, I feel like I've never really showed you guys what the process is like for me to send in American Girl Dolls to the doll hospital. I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, especially on the American Girl website. They kind of do go into great detail about how you can send your dolls to the American Girl Doll Hospital. And like I said before, it is kind of self-explanatory. However, I have two American Girl Dolls that I want you guys to see like from start to finish, the whole process of basically how I send in these dolls, what they look like before they go out, like on camera, all of that. So that way you guys really get a detailed version of what the doll hospital is and what it does. Now I don't even think it's called the American Girl Doll Hospital. It's called like the American Girl Care Center or something. I don't know. They changed it. They just changed the name, but it's still like the doll hospital. I don't know. So this is a doll that I'm very excited to have. It will be my second doll that is literally like really hard to find and the price that i got her at was actually like the best price i ever could have got for this doll she has part of her meat outfit like only like two parts of her meat outfit but i am not really mad at it because the meat outfit for me is such a hard thing to come by i'm opening her up backwards by the way but she's in pretty awful condition i would say for me she's not brand new but i wanted to have a second one of these dolls so that way i can actually like take her out i know that people are probably going to judge me because i'm taking a very rare doll out and about but since i have two of them them. Well, I'm gonna have two of them. I know for a fact that I'm gonna like want to use one as a stunt double, play with her, look at her, enjoy my time with her. So if you guys, you know, wanted to guess, by all means, go ahead in the comments down below and guess the doll that she is. But... I think you guys know who it is. This is a Sonali. I love that he gave me the receipt. One of my friends actually went to a resale shop in Jersey that I used to frequent all the time whenever I was in that area. And he picked up this Sonali doll for me. Absolutely stunning. She has the original Sonali mold. Her hair is actually fairly nice. I just am very particular about the dolls that I have. And since she's like not like brand spanking new, it's gonna like annoy me like crazy. As you guys know, Sonalis go for a pretty disgusting price online. I've never, like even my Sonali, when I was looking at prices for maybe selling her during the pandemic, I was shocked, gooped, and gagged at how much she is because I didn't think she was that expensive. Let's look at her face and let's see. She's got a ton of shine marks. That's gonna annoy me like crazy. She's got a lot of dust on her. Her top is not obviously her original top. This is like lime green and her original one is more like a sage green. And then her shoes are just random like flats that the seller just put on there but the capris and the top are what i care more about because honestly this is giving sonali's meat outfit anyway so i'm not necessarily that mad about it i'm gonna get you guys close up but look at her face this is what she looks like she is brown eyed her hair is actually really really soft it's just lost a ton of its curl and then she has shine marks galore all over her face um i don't know if you guys can see it in this lighting but she literally like shine mark shine mark shine mark shine mark shine mark she just has a very shiny face and i know that people are gonna literally comment and be like what why would you send her to the doll hospital? She's so, she's practically brand new. I can't deal with shine marks. Like that's just not my angle. That's just not my thing. But this is what she's gonna look like before I send her into the doll hospital. She goes like up to like 350, 400, five, like $500 sometimes. And for me, Sonali is one of those dolls that like really is like just a doll that I obsess over. Like she is so stunning and I never get to spend like time with mine back home in my parents' house. So having a second one to have here in New York is really gonna be so ah, amazing. I'm gonna take care of her, but I wanna like bring her around places and I wanna like actually like travel with her. Now the second doll that I wanna show you guys, okay, let me go get her, is this Joss doll, okay? So I got a lot of American Girl dolls here like in New York on Craigslist. Someone was selling, where is she? Someone was selling pink haired girly over there. I haven't given her a name and I was gonna do a video on it, but I was like, you know, people don't really like care. But I got a Joss in that, you know, sale. But the problem with her is that she has, first of all, the driest hair known to man, but she also, I don't know if you guys can see that, but she has paint that is missing on her lip, like on the top, on the bottom. And it's unbelievably annoying. What's annoying to me is that like, she's in great condition. Her hair is dry, which I was, expecting but her body's great and she obviously has the american girl logo on the back of her and everything and her, her limbs are great all of that but when it comes down to it the lack of lip paint on this doll is going to drive me insane and so i want to send her into the doll hospital to get a new head just so that way her hair is nice and fresh her lip paint is
is nice and fresh. These two dolls, I can't stand shine marks and they both have the most intense shine marks on this planet. This will be my second Joss. I used to have a second Joss and then I sold her um, because she was just like not living and breathing in my collection the way I wanted her to be here in New York. And between other dolls, I didn't feel like I needed her. But now that I have these two, I definitely will be utilizing them more. I wanna have Joss be a stunt double basically and be a doll that I take around. But she really is a doll that I do like. I just, you know, compared to the other dolls that I was getting at the time, I was like, let me just sell her to make some money to get other dolls. And this time around, I definitely, definitely want to have another Sonali because she is gorgeous. They will never do this again. I love her. I love Sonali. But I'm excited to see what they look like when they come back. But without further ado, like, let's get these girls boxed up naked and, like, ready to go. Okay, so now that I have the dolls all packaged up in this box, this is just, like, an Amazon Prime box that I'm reusing. Um, and I'm gonna cover the original shipping label with, like, the new one that American Girl provided. Since it's two dolls, two shipping labels are provided, but you only need to use one. So if you have multiple in one order, it's gonna give you, like, multiple shipping labels, but you only need to use one. I'm just gonna put in their doll hospital admissions like that because they will be able to tell both and there's barcodes on them if you actually are doing this and then i'm just gonna take this up yeah i'm just gonna take the shipping label that american girl provided me with and i am going to box them all up and then once that's all boxed up i can go to fedex my local fedex and just drop off the girlies Okay, so I just got Sonali and Joss back from the American Girl Doll Hospital. First and foremost, I just want to say that this entire process of sending Sonali and Joss has been long. It's been lengthy. There's been a lot of emails going back and forth between me and the American Girl Care Center now, I think it's what it's called. But just so you guys know, I want to give a big shout out to all the doctors at the American Girl Care Center. They have seen my previous videos and trust me when I say that they definitely were in contact with me to make sure that these dolls were like as pristine, as amazing as they possibly could be, even going so far as to handpick these dolls. So I'm very grateful for the amount of time and effort that these doctors have put into these dolls. So I'm very excited to see these dolls in person because these are dolls that I'm absolutely obsessed with, specifically Sonali. Sorry, I'm like, I just walked in and I was so excited. I was like, let's get this going, queen. So let us get unboxing these girlies. This is what they look like. All right. Let's pull out number one. This is someone. Um, there's a big hole on the back. I don't know what that's from, but I hope that she's not damaged personally. She also has like a big crease on the front of her box for some odd reason, but it's fine, whatever. This is Sonali. Sorry, I just saw it at the bottom. It says Sonali and her number. This is what she looks like. I love this doll with my whole heart. I just want you guys to take a moment to like really digest how stunning this doll is. I always will tell people to bite the bullet and just get her because she really is like a doll that you are gonna wanna have in your collection. So I did get her entire like body replaced by the way. So like it wasn't just like her head, like her entire body has been changed. Doll hospital tag, all that. Now Sonali Matthews, Dr. Les. Dr. Les, if you're watching this, you did a good job. Yeah, you did a good job, girly. Sorry, I'm like triple checking to make sure that this doll is good. All right. Okay, now we're playing with fire. Her hair's a little bit shorter than my Sonali back at home, but she's got a thick wig. I'm actually fairly surprised. She's got a little bit of a rat tail going on, but I'm sure that that will subside. Wow, that is Miss Sonali Matthews, guys. I mean, her hair, there are some pieces that are longer than the others. I mean, like she's got some bottom pieces back here, but I'm sure that that will just curl up, whatever. As you guys can see, she's got a little bit of like a rat tail going on. But for the most part, I'm actually very happy with her. I don't mind that. Let me just show you guys her body because that was a question I got asked a lot. She has one of the newer bodies because again, she had like a really ugly stain on her. And it was like an ugly like water stain on her and I did not like that. But yeah, here she is. She's gorge, she's stunning. I, I honestly am like really happy with her. I can't complain. This doll, I mean, we really went back and forth at the doll hospital. Like I really let them know how important this doll was to me. She's like fully naked now, but she really is an important doll. I really want her to like travel with me. Like she is someone that I would love to be able to bring places, have a whole sentimental like value with. Like she's gonna get played with as you guys would call it. So I'm really excited about that. But here is now Joss. So let's open her up. Boop. Now Joss, I was 
very straightforward with them. I was like, I don't really care what you guys do with her because I got her for an insane price. I think she's only like 40 bucks, so I was like, whatever. But here's what she looks like. And Joss, honestly, I did notice that a lot of the Josses, mm, yeah, a lot of the Josses, sorry, I wanted to make sure that I'm not crazy. A lot of the Josses, they do have on like uneven paintings on their like Cupid's bow. Like this one specifically, she has it. I'm not mad at it because again, I told them like not to watch out for really anything with Joss. I was like, pick a Joss and call it a day. She's got uneven lips. Like the top of her Cupid's bow is uneven. And I went on eBay and I realized like, oh, like that's not just like a thing with like one or two Josses. Like all the Josses really do have like uneven Cupid's bows. Sorry, if you have a Joss and you just looked at her and she has uneven Cupid's bow, I'm so sorry. Cause yeah, now you know, and I'm sorry. I just like completely like OCD. So this is what she looks like. Let's get her out of here. She also was done by Dr. By Dr. Les as well. Here she is. Now, Miss Girlie over here, I wasn't expecting a miracle with her because her like hair and all that is like, it, it's it's not thick. She's not a doll that I ever think would have like a thick wig. So whenever I see her, I'm like, Ugh, whatever. But I, whoa, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just took out her hair and like this just has a wig. And I mean like, she's got hair. I mean, Homegirl just came back from, you know, the dry bar and got a blowout because her hair is like thick. I've felt some Josses before that have like no hair on their heads. Like this one's got some hair. Actually, I don't mind that. I would rather have a thick wig and uneven lips than like even lips and like no hair in her head. So I'm extremely happy with this Joss. I mean, she's got hair and I'm actually fairly surprised by that because um, usually all the Josses I've ever come into contact with like have like no hair on their heads. So homegirl here having hair makes me really, really happy. This is gonna be gone in like two seconds. I absolutely cannot stand her meat style. It's irrelevant, but um, yeah, there she is. I mean, there are the two girlies. Here is Sonali and here is Miss Joss. I'm very happy with both of them. I mean, like Sonali's hair is j like gorgeous, curly, beautiful, stunning. And then Miss Joss over here is beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, if you want a Sonali doll, pay the big bucks, send her into the doll hospital, call it a day. I mean, like, really, like, throw in the towel. Like, Sonali is one of those dolls, like, until you have a Sonali in your collection, you will never understand, like, what it means to, like, own such a stunning doll that really, like, pioneered, obviously, the face mold. She's gorge. She really is, like, Gorgina. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. Very happy with her. And her hair is just as curly as I wanted it to be. Obsessed is an understatement. I probably look crazy. But yeah, all right, you guys, those are my two girlies. Let me grab the other one. I'm gonna go um, enjoy having them in my collection. I'm gonna go get them nice and dressed up. And yeah, if you guys wanna see more of these girlies in my videos of me vlogging, definitely make sure you guys go check out my TikTok, which is at Chris American Girl. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. I am so very, very happy. Definitely check out the American Girl Care Center. They do take pride in quality. So I, I again, am just very, very happy that anytime that I've ever had a problem with the care center, they do take me very seriously seriously and they make sure that I receive the utmost high quality that American Girl is able to offer. So again, if you are a doll hospital doctor watching this, thank you so much for putting the time and care into my dolls, knowing I'm a collector, knowing I'm very nitpicky. I, you know, <laughs> I would put me on a block list if I were them. But all right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the transfer and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.